Triton, the largest natural satellite of the planet Neptune, and the first Neptunian moon to be discovered. Just weeks after Neptune was found, British astronomer William Lassell discovered the moon on October 10, 1846. At 2,700 kilometers in diameter, Triton is the seventh largest moon and 16th largest object in the solar system, and is modestly larger than the dwarf planets Pluto and Eris. Triton orbits Neptune in a retrograde orbit, at a distance of 354,800 kilometers from the planet. It takes Triton almost six Earth days, to orbit the planet Neptune. Triton is locked in synchronous rotation with Neptune, and one side faces the planet at all times like our Earth and Moon system. Triton resembles Pluto with respect to size, mass, and likely composition. The internal structure of Triton is composed of an inner core of rocks and metals. The core is surrounded by an icy mantle, and overlain by the crust of frozen nitrogen. There may be a layer of liquid water deep inside Triton, forming a subterranean ocean. Triton has an extremely thin atmosphere composed mainly of nitrogen and methane. The atmosphere extends up to 800 kilometers above the surface, and had a surface pressure of about 14 microbars. There are high ridges and deep valleys all over the Triton surface. There are very few craters visible on the surface which indicates that Triton is very young and mostly likely highly active, with regions varying from an estimated 50 million years old to 6 million years old. Triton has an icy surface with geysers and few craters. Voyager 2, the only spacecraft to fly past Triton in 1989, discovered active geysers on Triton. Perhaps the most interesting discovery to be made by Voyager 2 was Triton's ice volcanoes. On its surface, Triton also has cryovolcanoes, which is essentially a volcano that spews out water or ammonia instead of lava. The largest of these has a diameter of 100 kilometers. Triton was the first location in the solar system where cryovolcanoes were observed. The Voyager 2 probe observed looms of nitrogen gas and dust up to 5 miles high during its 1989 flyby. These eruptions are responsible for Triton's smooth surface, the gases evaporated, condense and fall back to the surface, forming a thick blanket similar to snow. Triton is considered the coldest place in the solar system discovered yet. Due to the moon's high albedo and very little sunlight absorbed by the surface, Triton's surface temperature is colder than any other measured object in the solar system. The moon's surface temperature is approximately minus 235 Celsius. While the temperature of the farthest planet Pluto averages about minus 229 Celsius. Triton's axis of rotation is tilted 157 degrees with respect to Neptune's axis. This causes the moons, polar and equatorial regions to be alternately pointed towards the Sun. This causes extreme seasonal changes as Triton's orientation changes. Triton is so called at minus 235 Celsius that the ground is made of frozen nitrogen. Because of its retrograde orbit and relative proximity to Neptune, Triton orbit is slowly decaying, meaning it is getting closer to Neptune. Tidal deceleration is causing Triton to spiral inward, and in 3.6 billion years, Titan will be so close to Neptune that it will cross the Neptune's roach limit and then the tidal forces of Neptune will tear Triton apart. It will either collide with Neptune atmosphere, forming a complex ring system, or it will simply break up and fall into Neptune.